Hello everyone there. I hope you have seen my previous video lecture on the calculation of standard time. So uh, in this lecture series on the course industrial engineering, let us discuss here the concept of from work measurement. So usually these problems come come under the concept of work measurement that is work study. In the previous lecture we discussed the various terms what is observed time what is normal time what is standard time so in this lecture let us have few problems on the calculation of standard time now let us revise here the terminology used in the calculation of standard time the first term is the observed time observed time is nothing but the actual time required to perform any specific task that is to carry out any work element this is the time required to complete that element so observed time is required for us first thing next one is the determination of normal time normal time is called as basic time so basic time or normal time is calculated as observed time into rating factor so in the problem usually we are given the rating factor for each of the work elements then we have to determine the standard time as we know that this is the time allowed to an operator to carry out the specified task under specified conditions and at the defined level of work performance so these are the basic terms used in the calculation of standard time so mathematically standard time is equal to normal time plus total allowance in previous lecture we have seen what are the various allowances contingency allowance relaxation allowance fatigue allowance or policy allowance if any applicable right where total allowance is composed of relaxation allowance plus contingency allowance plus interference allowance if any applicable and one more allowance is there that is policy allowance if it is mentioned so we have to consider all types of allowances while determining the standard time now let us have a picture on calculation of standard time in this figure again the standard time calculations are shown where we need to determine basic time first that is normal time normal time is calculated with respect to observed time and rating factor and then various allowances are added to determine the standard time now let us have a numerical on calculation of standard time now let us discuss a numerical on calculation of standard time i read the statement here problem statement the observed times and the performance ratings for the five elements are given compute the standard time assuming rest and personal allowance as 15% and contingency allowance as 2% of the basic time now element observed time in minutes and performance rating is given so in this problem so what are the given contents element wise these are the elements of a work cycle for each element observed time is given in minutes so this is the flyback timing that means for each of the work element his specific observed time is given and then performance performance rating is mentioned now see how the allowances are given in this problem rest and personal allowance that means relaxation allowance is given as 15% and contingency allowance is given as 2% of the basic time that means to calculate these allowances of time we should calculate first the basic time that is normal time so here let us see how to calculate the normal time we have to prepare a table here to determine normal time of the work cycle in the first column write the element number in the second column write the observed time for each of the elements in minutes then write the performance rating performance rating usually this is given in the percentage then 
calculate the normal time for each work element with respect to observed time and rating factor so if you multiply here observed time into rating factor it gives us normal time for each of the elements so let us determine here normal time for each element and then calculate the total that is total normal time is 0.866 minutes 0.866 minutes so this is addition of normal time for each of the work element so it gives us the total normal time now as seen above let us calculate the allowances see here first step is to calculate the normal normal time and once normal time is calculated let us determine the allowances now let us see how to determine the allowances as in the given problem it is mentioned that the rest and personal allowance that means relaxation allowances 15% of basic time and contingency allowances 2% of basic time so let us determine first relaxation allowance and contingency allowance as here normal time per piece that is per cycle is 0.866 minute this is from the previous table which we have seen now let us calculate here relaxation allowance as we know that given is the relaxation rest and personal allowance as 15% of basic time so therefore relaxation allowance will be 0.15 into this is basic time or normal time it gives us the relaxation allowance as this figure 0.1299 minutes then contingency allowance is 2% of the normal time so similarly calculate here contingency allowance then once we calculate relaxation allowance and contingency allowance let us find out finally standard time per piece or per cycle we know that standard time is composed of normal time plus allowances here allowances given are relaxation allowance rest and personal allowance and contingency allowance so let us simply add them and we get the standard time per piece as 1.0132 minute so this is the standard time calculation for a given problem so similar method is applicable to any of the problems whenever we deal with the calculation of standard time so i hope you have got the requisite knowledge related to the standard time calculation thank you thank you for watching this video